knife and layouts and I am back with Slay and Snow and Coco. I'm so excited to be putting this layout together. I found this on Pinterest. It is a layout created for paper issues by LD. I I'm probably butchered that and I am so sorry, but I loved the way that she used the tags on her layout. And so I wanted to showcase that in this layout here. So what I decided on the right hand side of the page is I'm just going to wallpaper it is what I like to call it photos on this right hand side. So I was able to get six total photos. Some of them I cut down to three by four, some are four by four, and then some are left at four by six. I love being able to showcase photos like this and really get the photos on a layout without necessarily having to add a lot of embellishments. And I tend to do that when there are a lot of photos of kind of the same thing. This photo of Adam that I'm going to put on the left-hand side of the layout is really not anything more than him just playing with the Nintendo Switch. We had obviously several families join us at this winter getaway and so we ended up with three Nintendo Switches and the Nintendo Switch has the ability to connect to each other so we were able to play several different games by connecting the systems together and a lot of people were able to play. So during this particular night when the boys were playing they were all in their pajamas they were all downstairs in the basement and we had set up the Nintendo Switch. So you can see in that picture of Adam, he has one of the smaller controllers because you separate the controllers and you can use that for your gaming system. So that's the photo that I put on the left-hand side. I followed the scrap lift very closely by using this bigger pattern paper in the plaid. And I just love this plaid. I think it is so cute. So the plaid I cut at 12 by five, and then I cut these two teal pieces at 12 by one and a half and 12 by one. And then I used this black polka dotted washi. And I love the way that that black just pops off the page. In the plaid, there is some black stitching. And I'm gonna add a few more black elements to the page, but that washi really ties it all together. As you can see, I'd put adhesive down before I put those tags down and wasn't really paying attention. So I had to pull that piece of paper up. I did pull out some of my twine and used some of them on the tags. Some of them I did leave without anything on them because I just wanted to have a little bit of different dimension for each one of the tags. So I show you here one and then I cut through and go ahead and lay them all down off camera and then lay that teal paper down back next to it. In the scrap lift as well, she added a couple of these pieces of just different types of tags and other ephemera pieces behind the photos and I really liked that as well. What I decided to do was pull out a couple of them, but then I also just used the ends of the tags that I used on the left hand side of the layout. I'm just kind of fiddling with them and trying to see what fits and what works best for this particular photo. I go ahead and get all of that laid down and then decide that I needed a little bit something on the bottom just simply because I felt like it was very top heavy. So I added that and unfortunately my camera did cut away but only thing that you missed was me adding a little tiny snowflake and then a white card down there at the bottom that says happiness. I'm going to put all of my photos on the right hand side of the layout and then I decided that I needed a little bit more so I went ahead and added some of that teal and I cut both of these I believe at a half an inch. I think a half an inch and three quarters of an inch by 12 and then again use that black polka dotted washi to add some black contrast over there. If you noticed that my photos didn't line up and I thought about cutting it but then I was like I'm just gonna cover it up with paper and not even worry about it. I'm gonna start my cluster down there on the far right hand side. I added this little 
house and these two black words that say keep warm and snuggle up which I thought was perfect of course I added my title to the left hand side which says so much fun I'm also gonna add this little bunny just because he's cute and I like the way that he is hopping and it looks like he's kind of hopping over those black words on the right hand side I decided to also add a house to the left hand side to cover up the wording that's on that card that's behind it so you can't even tell that I think it said something like cascade snow mountain or something like that I then also decided to add a gold snowflake to the right hand side behind the house so that it brings in the gold from the left hand side of the layout this little tag here I bought this with my kit and I thought I would use it and I haven't used it at all so I was like I definitely need to get it on this layout so I decided to add it just right underneath the house so once I get all of that down with my liquid adhesive I'm going to add just a little bit of liquid adhesive behind this so much fun it is an acetate piece so I just put it where the letters are so that you can't even see the adhesive once it's down I do have some of these yellow enamel dots. They're not shiny enamel dots. They have like a faux texture to them that gives it like a matte look, but they're not adhesive on the back. Like they were, they were falling off the sheet. So I had to use some glue dots to put those behind it. And then I decided that I needed a little bit more twine on that tag that's right above the photo as well. So the last thing that I'm going to do is add my journaling and it just says this great escape lodge had an amazing basement. It was a perfect setup for gaming. We had three Nintendo switches which allowed for lots of gaming with lots of folks. I use my eraser to erase the lines after I put my journaling down and then that is it. Here is the final layout as well as some close ups. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layouts, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's all you're going to get on my channel. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.